everybody. It's your friendly neighborhood hanger out here. Welcome aboard a double dose of freedom with the XP-55. Rank 3, battle rate 4.3 for the Americans. Yeah, it's been a while since we did a double dose of freedom for good reason. USA teams suck. They really do. And this one right here, this will show you. I better set this up. Yeah, you see, Sparky was working on his second star for the friggin' challenge thing for the Yak. And it didn't matter what I flew. Every freaking match we were getting was 6v6. I tried the French. I tried the Swedes. Even tried the Japanese. No, all we got was 6v6. And it would be me and Sparky and four Americans with so much crap strapped they could barely get off the damn runways. Uh, P-47 with crap strap. F-4s with crap strap. Freaking Mustangs with so much crap strapped, their fat asses were lucky if they could clear the runway before they freaking got the freaking wheels up. They were just so fat. Oh, and it would happen over and over and over again. I'd freaking get one or two kills, and then the entire enemy team would swarm me because, yeah, four USA freaking birds with so much crap strapped they can barely turn. Yeah, easy freaking pickings. So I was sitting there thinking, hmm... How am I going to fix this problem? Because I can't control the stupid matchmaker. And for some reason, it was giving us nothing but 6v6s. And then what do you know? Asian Ace shows up in the chat. And he's like, hi, what you doing? And an evil thought came into my little brain. I said, hmm, Asian, don't you have the XP-55? He said, well, hell yeah, of course I do. I said, yeah, we're getting nothing but 6v6s, so, yeah, since American teams suck, how about we even those odds a little bit? Yeah, do something truly evil. A friggin' pair of pilots that know what they're doing in the most overpowered bird at its BR, something that can dance like a ballerina and hits like a Mack truck. Yeah, dual XP-55s on comms. Yeah, it's probably not the nicest thing to do, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So I hope you enjoy the first match with me, Asian Ace, and Truck Sparky, and I'll tell you a little bit more about the bird after the first match. See you after the first match, y'all. And it's heavier, but long shot. There's, there's the Pentagast Spitfire, which is, I think is god awful. I believe the great pretender pretending that it isn't shit. Oh, it's clipped. Yes. Disgusting. Disgusting. And it only oh. gets the 250s, not the freaking 430s, which means its weight of shot is pathetic. Yeah. We got one on the left, three on the right. I'm going for the one on the left. All right, I'll swing right. Crit. He's dead. I got the wrong ammo, I think. Oh, well, the Spitfire wants to steal it, but hey ho. Okay, he goes. got one that he's so tall, so high, holy shit. Probably an Anton. One ninety's on your ass, by the way, Sparky. You see it. He's low. On your six. Keep going straight. Yeah, just keep going straight, Sparky. Where were you? Round. Drop strike. Okay, oh, let's okay, bait this 190 on my ass. Alright, 190. Let's have some fun, buddy. You run, you just die tired. Oh, the tree. Ow. Can't get around it. Oh, well. I tried. Yeah, I had the wrong ammo. I had universal instead of armor piercing. Uh, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I could only get one of the bunkers. I, I mean, those uh, SPGs. What is this 190 doing? Hold on, dogfight me, buddy. I don't like it. All right, let's do it.
All right, what are you doing, Swords in? I'm not gonna tail sit you if that's what you're saying. Okay, are you gonna ignore me to farm the AI? Okay. And he's gonna run away. Uh, tanker trash. Tanker trash. You're playing vertical? Alrighty. Let's do it, buddy. Yeah. I mean, I'm in Hexby 55. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, lol. Lols. He's dead. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Yeah, I love when they do that kind of shit. Yeah, I'm going to prop hang. Not with this or <laughs> not. Nope. Like prop hanging with a yak. Mm-hmm. You don't do that. Period. Oh, there he is. Poor thing. An Anton versus two OP fifty-five. Yeah. <laughs> Got no chance. No chance uh, in hell. What's what, what, what? swords mean? The what? Cross swords. Just a symbol? Yeah, it's a symbol for a squadron. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the, the Avenger order I just put on him. Oh. Is he at our airfield? No, he really is. Yeah, okay. he was trying to friggin' bolts the Spitfire who threw it away to keep him from being an asshole. Shut up. He's tanker trash with the KDR and air realistic of 0.6. I think we're fine. Yeah, I'm not worried. Aggression smoke. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> was he just flying straight? Yeah, but I was like, well, I can't <laughs> miss that one. Okay. <laughs> he didn't even turn. That's friggin' sad. Literally no chance. Yep. Well, I hope you enjoyed that first match. Yeah, putting two halfway decent pilots on comms does help, but putting two halfway decent pilots on comms with XB-55, yeah, I think you could see how relaxed we are. So, yeah, if you need yourself a battle buddy, come on down. Link's in the About page to the United Kingdom Discord. We'll be more than happy to give you a hand. There's people at all hours of the day and night. Some are doing plans, some are doing tech, some are even doing <laughs> boats. But yeah, there's always somebody doing something, and it's always nicer with a battle buddy. But now let me tell you a little bit about this bird. The XP-55 Ascender was one of three XP experimental projects launched in 1940. And you have to remember, this is 1940. The freaking Buffalo was still considered a frontline fighter in 1940, and the P-40 was just starting to get in production. So nobody really knew what was going to be the, the next big thing. What would be the best frontline fighter? So the freaking United States military said, hmm, you know what? We're going to hand out some experimental contracts. You come up with an unconventional design. Think outside the box. Let's see what you can come up with. And they ended up with the XP-54 Swiss Goose, the XP-55 Ascender, and the XP-56 Black Bullet. Unfortunately, we only got the 55 in game. Why, Gaijin? Why not give us the freaking swoosh goose and the black bullet? Hell yeah, I'd be happy to throw my credit card to grab them suckers. They look like stupid fun. And yeah, this thing turned out to be super agile, decent climb rate, highly maneuverable. Yeah, it just had one little itty bitty teeny tiny kind of a problem. Yeah, if you ever managed to get it into a flat spin, it would flip over onto its belly and you would never get it back. They also found that yeah, it didn't like going real slow. Yeah, it had a nasty habit to freaking just stall out if you got the thing too slow, which kind of made landings a little bit of an issue. They even put a freaking prop jettison thing in case you had it to bail out, so if you'd had to jump out, you wouldn't get eat by the prop. But yeah, with all them teething problems, and by the time they got this thing ready to where it could halfway enter production, we were already winning the war, so we were like, yeah, I think we'll just pass. But luckily, we get to fly it in-game, and this thing is an absolute joy to fly. So I hope you enjoy this last match of the Double Dose of Freedom with me, Asian Ace, and Truck Sparky, 
And I hope your freaking grind's going good. And I hope to see you up there in the clouds. Have a good one, y'all. The SM92 is the one that gets the 50 cals plus the 20s. Oh, yeah. And has a you tail should. gun that you literally can't <laughs> hit anything with. Oh, okay. feel sad now. Yeah. Especially since like... they put the SM91 now to tier 2. So you can't use what? it. What? For... Yes, it's now tier 2. Wow. Wait a minute. Yep. Me. Suddenly I put my beautiful Crappuccino to tier 2 as well. What? Yes, my beautiful 205 is now tier 2. I can never fly it again. Dog, why? Why? Because they had to punish the pasta. What? What the f- okay. Yep, come cool. on, turn. Turn B-17. Alright, Guppy. Let's see what you can do, buddy. Okay, I got a little nine on my six. Let's duel. Let's see how you do, my my friend. Is it a dive? That's not smart of you. That's a G6. Oh, you're fucked. You're on fire. Ooh. Ooh that Ooh. was nice. That was clean. Yeah, well, it's a G6 anyway. All you gotta do is back to spook and it's feast time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even then, I have way more altitude than him. Mm. Yeah. This bird was such a great purchase. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's only... Oh, he's pulling up, okay. Got that one, took a while. Yeah, there's balls of one. Yeah, that's yes. what I'm working on. Alrighty. Always go for the highest and work your way down. Yep, that's how you win the game. Come on, pull up for me, buddy. You know you wanna. There you go. Come on. I'm right here. Look at me. Here I am. Are you are you with me? Nah, me. No. <laughs> and he's diving. Oh, of course he did. He realized what was happening. Bobby. <laughs> Let's see. Got one going to the runway. You got that one over there. Yep. Any strafing ground units? That's cool. Works for you. He's dead. Hi! Bye! Better hurry up and do it, Spitfire. Okay, you got a fire. It's yours. Do not. Uh, I, I saw one of them on their field. Yep. Last time I remember. Are you gonna take off or are you gonna sit there? Oh, he's rolling. Oh, well, he's fucked anyways. There's no SBA over there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm 
Yeah. Yep. Dude, you got no energy. You literally have no energy. Just try it. Poor thing. You got no way you're pulling up with this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No. We need help it faster at the end. Well, good lord, you have two guys running XP-55s in a squad. What do you think's going to happen? On comms, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the only, I, I knew it was going to happen. The only time the U.S. team's going to win. Oh, yeah, break out the most OP thing in the game. Yeah. <laughs>